Hey guys, and welcome back to the garden. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Blanca. So today's video, I'm doing kind of like a summer special. Um, last time I was on, I did tell you guys that it was gonna be less frequent that I come on during the summer just because I am super, super busy and it is really, really hot out here. <laughs> um, so today's video, I am just gonna walk you guys through the garden. I am going to um, just talk to you guys about the orchids that thrive the best. Um, especially if you're gonna have, if you're gonna be growing them outside, the ones that are more heat tolerant. Uh, because let me tell you, whatever is thriving at this point, whatever is blooming at this point, can tolerate um, excessive heat. So just to give you a perspective, uh, today is July eighth. It is 9:30 a.m. and it's already 90 degrees out here. Um, so we are under heat advisory. Uh, we've been um, under these heat advisories probably for a, a few weeks already where temperatures are really, really high and it actually feels even hotter because of the humidity. Uh, so you're looking about triple digits out here. Um, so I am just going to walk around, show you my garden, show you how everything is doing and kind of give you a perspective because if this is the way that you like to grow, it kind of gives you an idea on what you can grow. So let's start off. First of all, I wanna you know, start off by saying I know it's been a while since I've been out here. Summer months for me are just um, you know, busy. I have my family over all the time. My kids are home from college. It's also super hot, so I try not to be out here for uh, long periods of time. So videos are a little bit less frequent in the summer. I promise you by come fall, come um, orchid season, I will be a lot more present, so just hang in there <laughs> all right so let's see uh, what is doing amazing that I want to show you of course dancing ladies you guys if you are thinking of ever mounting any orchids on your palms and your uh, climate is suitable for them uh, so you live in a, in, a, in a you know in an area or you live in a state or in a country where your your temperatures um, are gonna be good for your orchids. Let's say it doesn't get too, too cold, doesn't drop anywhere uh, below, I would say 40 degrees. Uh, you can actually, you know, you can actually um, attach orchids on your palms um, because they will thrive. And I can tell you that because where I live, sometimes in the winter, it does get a little bit cold, not too cold. So not, not, not too low. I would say in the 40s for a few days and then it is hot the rest of the year. And <laughs> so, um, dancing ladies that's where I was going so if you're ever planning on attaching anything oncidiums are just a great option dancing ladies especially to me are just beautiful they're vibrant uh, these are the sweet sugar dancing ladies sweet sugar they I mean bloom all year so I have to tell you that they are one of my favorites and now if you've been with me for a long time you would know that cherry babies oncidium cherry babies are also an amazing option so just these type of oncidiums they do amazing. I have them all over the garden and and they love it. They love it. They love it. So I know you guys are probably wondering, did I already go get my fern? And the answer is no. I haven't had a chance to go to Ophi, you guys, to go pick up the, uh, the fern where I'm going to mount a bunch of these and leave it as a focal point right in front of my pool. I have not done that. I promise you the minute I do, you guys will be the first to know. Another one, dendrobiums. These foul dendrobiums, um, is that the name? I see that hand is everywhere. They do amazing. I mean, this time of the year, they love it. Multiple spikes, not phased, not even a little burn spot. They do really, really well. Um, the only thing is that they do have the longer canes. So you might wanna be strategic on how you place them. I, you know, I, I'm not so strategic at all. So if you want them to look a little bit more, I don't know, more decorative, prettier, just, you know, keep in mind that you, you, you do get, the canes do get really long, but they, they love it. And I'm talking about all of them. Look at these antelope types. These are coming out of bloom. I had a bunch of these just blooming everywhere. And they were so pretty up in, in the garden. There you go. This one over here, my um, my arachnus is also. You know what I have? My arachnus is also doing really well. I, there's a bunch of buds over here on this side. There you go. 
you can kind of see which ones like like this heat and which ones can't tolerate it i wouldn't put fowls um you know in an area where it's really really sunny just because they 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 do not like the extreme heat but this is another oncidium this is the oncidium uh snow white has a really long name but it ends with snow white and she's also doing amazing so all in all oncidiums do great i mean the cat leas are also uh doing okay now in uh in june and july they're just the ones that the ones that are more in the shade are doing better and then look you guys this is a gift this was a gift from a subscriber from karen she is finally in bloom i got these in a, a while ago and you know what it likes a spot so that's a trick also find a good spot for it in the garden so once i moved um these vandas over here they are you know blooming for me they do require a lot of water which is also a good thing in the summer it rains every single day here in south florida every single day it's like torrential downpour so aside from it being super super hot and intolerable um then you get kind of like an afternoon shower which kind of um just hydrates everything and makes everything better so these are also in bloom i do not have a name for this i did have a beautiful tag that karen made for me but I tried to look for it and I don't know, I can't find it. So yeah, once I moved, um, and <laughs> here are my Sherry babies. Once I moved uh, this Vanda over, she, or this Vandacious type over here, she bloomed. So this is where she's gonna stay. And then I have this one over here too. Which this Miss Joaquin, I did move her from around the pool and I put her here and she bloomed. So, you know, if you guys are suffering from orchids that are not blooming, <laughs> if you're suffering, not your orchids, but if you're suffering because your orchids are not blooming, um, just move them around. I mean, I'm probably gonna relocate these because they've been here. This is where that other one was. And let's see, I did see a tag around here. And yeah, I know that. Oh, this is a violet one so she is not blooming which means i will probably have to relocate it and maybe i'll get some blooms because that always happens i mean i'll have orchids for a while and i don't see how they're blooming or not, not doing anything and i just want to relocate them move them out of the way and boom they start so i leave them wherever they bloom so here's you've got more just the the sherry baby types just all different types and then All of the dancing ladies so yeah you guys are probably asking how often do i water i during summer i really don't need to because it rains every day i mean every day there is rain out here and um and they get plenty plenty of water i can't seem to keep my grass from growing we have to cut it about every other week because of all the rain but like I said, it's a good thing because the amount of heat that we get over here in South Florida is just extreme. Um, so yeah, so all these, like I said, are all in the direct sun. So if you're looking for orchids to, you know, to just attach and you're nervous, you don't know what to attach, you're scared, Oncidiums is definitely a way to go. And I would stick with the small flowered Oncidiums like the dancing lady, the, the dancing ladies, the sherry babies, and all that because they do, they do really, really well. All right, so now I'm just gonna walk around and show you because I have lots in bloom, especially under my orchid section. Update in the garden. Uh, let's see, gate was fixed, fence was fixed. We just need to put that mesh around so we get a little bit of privacy until the um, the pony porcuses, whatever they're called, the plants grow to give us the privacy, but. We gotta fix that. Oh, and something smells good around here. All right, and then let me show you my gumbo limbo. Now, every time I turn the corner, I see buds. <laughs> Yay, this is new. Oh my goodness, look at this. We've got some beautiful, beautiful buds in here from my African beauty. So this one is a really, really pretty one. 
you know this is another example of of like move your orchids if they don't bloom so i attached not attached i hung all of these cattleyas here um in this in this section because the cattleyas that i have attached to my pot to um to the gumbo limbo do really really well over here so i was like you know what let me bring the other ones that i have um kind of like in pots bare root because if you know me i don't like i don't like to pot anything um with any type of media but um bare root I was like, let me bring them out here, bare root, and see how they do. And ever since I did that, they're super happy. They get shade. I mean, look at all the sun I have out here compared to this little shady area. So here the Cattleyas love it. I did have a, um, a Zygo that was growing here, and I put it under my terrace because it's beautiful. My blue blazes is in full bloom, and I also have some some sherry babies here uh, let's see anything else so this is a nice little shady area all right let's go to my orchid section you guys which is still not looking great but it does have lots of flowers and I missed you guys I know it's been a while <laughs> like I said summer is a little bit difficult because it's already I've been out here for what 12 minutes since I started recording and it's hot and then my phone gets overheated so it's not just that I'm hot my phone actually stops working in the heat all right so what's going on in the orchid section in this hot summer um in these hot summer months Hoyas they're doing amazing they're in a spot where they love it and I cannot touch them and I know I little by little I am cleaning this area up so um I'm starting to look for spots where orchids love it, so I'm gonna leave them there. But uh, let's see, the Hoyas that I plant, that I that I put out here are doing amazing. I mean, look at all of these. Just, and then I've got lots in here. All right, and then I always do the orchid shuffle when I come in here. Whatever I see in bloom, I kind of like putting it here in the middle. So here you're gonna find everything in bloom. And, Let's see, newly bloomed is the Cerritus. She smells amazing. And you know, I do wanna give you guys some information um, that I got from Tan uh, for Spring Water Orchids when I was, I think at the Cruel Smith um, Orchid Show last, last spring. Um, and I was complaining about thrips and thrips is like such a problem in the garden, but you will not find any orchids with thrips during the summer they go away so if you're kind of like me that now i'm a little bit hesitant about spring just because my grandson is out here um and i don't want to have all of these all of these um you know the you know uh, orthenes and all of these treatments out here summer months are amazing for, uh, they, there's no thrips so you kind of just have to wait until they you know they, they kind of go away because now my orchids are doing amazing i was really frustrated with all the strips i had during the spring months so now they're doing really good so look at this one this one is a beauty this is a brassavola cattleya hybrid and can't seem to locate the tag either but this is this one's in bloom she's a beauty Vandas are doing amazing. This is my Vanda Merlii. I've got another one in bloom here. My new stylus was beautiful. She, she had like three flower spikes. The only thing is that I wish I would have gotten a footage, footage of her when she was in bloom, you guys. This one is awesome. This one came from Banjong. Oh, and she smells so good. This is a new stylist. Um, Lou the tag i know sorry <laughs> tag is gone neo stylus um loose nary something banjong has it it's beautiful it gave me three beautiful um flower spikes with all of these little bunches on there but they're all gone let's see there's this pretty one too Lots and lots of blooms out here. 
Look at this one. How is this one? What's going on with you? Why is she like so crooked? flowers you guys beautiful mm. this one smells good so I don't know if if she is like a new growth over here I don't know what's going on you guys after after the destruction here in my orchid section so many orchids were on the floor so many orchids broke that I need to see if um Okay, so I need to see, <laughs> look at this, I, you know, I, what's going on here? Wow, and you've got two spikes. There's two flower spikes here. You see the sun damage? So I don't know if, if this one belongs to this Vanda. I have to wait until that one blooms so I can uh, see if I can attach them or put them together or something. But, um, yeah, it's looking a little bit disastrous out here. But you know what? I have blooms little by little. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to let it um, frustrate me because I do have some pretty blooms. This is the Ben's fragrance. Still blooming. Smells delicious. Uh, one of the things that I wish I could do is share the smells of these orchids with you. Look, there's another flower spike here. Uh, ants. So yeah, lots and lots of blooms, you guys, which is amazing. So Ben's Fragrance is probably the best smelling Vanda in my collection. And it came from Bang John. I miss Ben. I miss everybody. I have been so MIA since April. And you guys keep messaging like, are you okay? Yes, you guys, I am perfect. I am great. It's just summer, you know it's a time of the year where i really 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 love to um to be with my you know with my kids are home and we, we love to go to the beach we love to spend um time traveling because it's the only time that i can do it with them so this is why summer for me is i'm always mia but i promise you i am great so this is um my golden de bloom which is also in spike and then then you can see all of my hoyas and i'm standing here and getting a whiff of all of these vandas and it smells amazing oh. let's see this one was blooming non-stop We've got another flower spike here. So yeah, everywhere I look, my vandas are spiking. Another Ben's Fragrance, yes. I love it so much, I probably have three or four in my collection. This is another Ben's Fragrance in, in, um, in Spike. And this is... That's a... I think this is a Nini Palmer hybrid with a Denise Soniana. She's also in Spike. Oh, and then I see one that I love back there. I'm going to show you. And then all of these beautiful Hoyas. Look at this one. I think these came from that trip that I took with my, my friend Laz. And I miss Laz. I'm telling you, I haven't seen anybody. We talk every once in a while, but I mean, I need to, I need to see them. Look at this bunch over here. So Hoyas are doing amazing. If you guys are thinking of, you know, what Hoyas you can put in your garden, when will they bloom? How much shade do they need? Let me just show you really quick. I mean, cause I have, this is like Hoya, Hoya Central right here. All of these Hoyas, everything. I hope that you, I mean, I cannot see what you guys are seeing because my monitor is really dark cause it's so bright out here. But these Hoyas are all kept under the shade sail <laughs> Did I say that right? Under this shade sale and they love it. So this is where my Hoyas are just going to be. 
I have not ever experienced so many Hoya blooms like I am this year. So I know that they love it and they love the heat. They, they're just doing amazing. Look at this one. And from this one, I've got probably like, look at this. It's like raining, raining peduncles over here. This one is full. Yeah, so I think all these Goyas, Hoyas I got from that trip, look at that, that I went on with, um, with Laz. Look how pretty. I love it. No, I don't think these smell really good. Yeah, these don't smell so hot, but they are pretty. So look at that. Lots of Hoyas. And then one of my favorite spotted Vandas right here is in bloom. My God, it's full of ants. Yeah, ants are not gonna harm. They don't harm um, the orchids at all. I know some of you guys have asked, uh, what should you do with all the ants that are on your on your orchids? They don't harm it. They're just there for like the little sweet nectar and, and they don't harm it. But look at how pretty this one is. Let me see if I can get them all here in the picture. Look at that beautiful and I as I'm showing you I'm looking for the tag because she is such a pretty girl and she's fragrant and her tag uh, I don't see it you know what let me show you um, her picture again and just take a screenshot and then you can just upload it on Google and and it will tell you so it's just beautiful. Pink, pink lip, and like a cream background with all the pretty spots. Let's see what else is under here that I wanted to show you guys. More Hoyas. And more Hoyas. Let's see, this is the area that I really haven't picked up. Things are still on the floor. Let's see. This is my fairy baby the one I see. Flower spikes. So lots of flower spikes, lots of flowers. Um, these are the orchids that that love to be outside. So hopefully this video was like a good reference. If you, um, if you ever want to um, collect like I do and just, look at this, how pretty. There's a Naritas. Um, collect like I do and have orchids outside. It kind of gives you like an idea of what orchids are tolerant to the extreme heat. Um, everything that's in bloom right now, obviously they love it, uh, which are the Vandas, the Ancidiums. I've got a few Brassavolas, I've got um, some cattleyas in bloom, but they, I mean, in bud, but they have to be in, in more shaded, shaded area. Um, but if you are thinking of like direct sun, uh, dendrobiums, oncidiums, like those little flower oncidiums do amazing. Uh, keep your vandas from experience always under some type of, um, of shade cloths, shade, shade sail, or, um, or not all the vandas, but at least the ones, these are, these are, tolerant to light but not direct sunlight the ones that are more light tolerant are my violettas which bloom um in january which is why they're not in bloom right now because they usually bloom you know what they start blooming like in i want to say like november but those do love the the uh the the brighter light which is why they're more on the outside and of course the ones that are on my pool love the brighter light but anything like this anything with fragrance except for the red lettuce because the red lettuce are fragrant so um any of these types they do love they do love the bright light just not the direct light and they will bloom beautifully under some type of um of shade as you can see i'm glad that you know i can show you guys not just tell you but actually show you and i am a very strong believer that you need to do what works for you so if you find that you have an orchid that you place it somewhere and that it blooms for you, it is happy there. Do not move it. Um, and yeah, I'm glad to uh, be able to share this video video with you guys today. 
Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little morning walk. My phone is already telling me that it's getting a little overheated, so I need to be, I need to uh, speed it up a little bit. Now, as far as my fruits, uh, my dragon fruit tree, the one that's red, does have some fruit in it, even though the, the, the actual plant doesn't look so hot. Um, it got cold damage, and I don't even know what other things it got, but I, I do have uh, some, some growing fruit there, which I probably will not make it out there to walk with you guys because my overheated phone, but that's it. It has some fruit over there, so that's that's good news and other than that this is what's happening in the garden you guys um nothing uh too crazy nothing um to show you guys that has changed drastically just i have lots of blooms and lots of flowers so hope you guys have a great weekend it is um really hot here in south florida how are you guys doing <laughs> over here is um super super hot unbearably hot but um you know we know this we know this type of heat we're used to it just uh just be mindful of your orchids and which ones are more tolerant and um, which ones you can actually grow out here so like i said i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching thank you for hanging on with me um summer months videos will probably come in once a month i mean i can't i can't tell you any sooner if i do pop in, pop in um sooner then i will see you then but have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful summer. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>